Welcome back. In keeping with all things Valentine's and love and February, <laughs> we are so happy to have Francine Brokaw, our very own entertainment correspondent. And Francine is bringing us all kinds of ways to show a little love to ourselves, to others. And let's see where this goes. Francine, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first off, I want to start with, um, it's a little company, it's homemade called Prescott Bath Boutique. And they have a special Valentine's, it's called Love Spell box that they put together. And it includes body lotion, body scrub, a soy candle, lip balm. And I, I got to tell you, I love their products. But let me tell you, just list some of the scents that they can make. They they make so many. And if you go to their website, I mean, you, you'll just fall in love. As a strawberry shortcake, mango coconut, orchid, ginger and spice, uh, the unscented banana cream pie. I smell that. Oh, my gosh. It's to die for. Experiment eucalyptus sweet peach nectar. Now I try rubbing that on your dry skin in the winter and you'll feel like summer. I mean, it's <laughs> really they they're so great. they're so luscious and, and they're all made by hand. So there's none of these um big corporations making these lotions and potions for you. It, it's it's an amazing company. I'm glad I found them. And they are offering good day Orange County viewers 20% off. For the month of February, with the with the code GDOC twenty, and that's on anything. But I especially think that you know there's free shipping with the Love Spell box, the Valentine box, and I mean, instead of getting candy for your loved ones, get something for their bodies and something that's going to make them feel really good, or for yourself, buy it because these these products are really rich and they're soothing, and I just love not having dry skin. <laughs> well, a little self-care goes a long way. And we have been talking about that in terms of, you know, what does it mean to show love? Well, you get to show love to you too. And oh, wait a minute, if somebody wants to buy you something, why not ask for something that actually creates a spa night in or just a, a fun night with your partner However that looks, you know, body scrub and body lotions go both ways. Lotions and potions yeah. are good for everybody. And the lip balm, their candles. Oh my gosh, put those candles around your bathtub and have a romantic night in. <laughs> Sounds like a dream to me. And thank you, thank you to the Prescott Bath Boutique people for the discount for our viewers. We always appreciate that. Yes, use the code GDOC20 and you'll save 20%. Plus there's the free shipping on, on most of their items. And uh Okay, let's move on from that to some lovey dubbies. <laughs> it's interesting. In 2009, the film, the Disney film Up, came out, and this love story of Carl and Ellie just blew everybody away. I mean, it's just people started um, putting their handprints on their uh, mailboxes like Carl and Ellie did in the movie. Uh, they just had a love affair and a love that just is unmatched almost in Disney. So these people, they have, now be, this is Carl and Ellie and they have a special Valentine's box. They come, I don't have it at the time, but it comes in a big, huge heart. It's special for Valentine's Day and you open up the heart and you get Ellie and Carl. And I put them on my couch holding hands because they're the perfect lovey dovey couple. I, I, you got to say, they are so cute. And I see behind you, you've got some other lovey doveys going on. They are yes, Linus and awesome. Sally. So they are. That's she. He's her sweet babu from Peanuts. So um, yeah, pairing up this year. Is, I mean, I gotta say, I look at Carl and Ellie, and my heart just gets warm because. The, the sentiment that they had for each other, the love that they had for each other. It's sad though at, at times, but it they just had a wonderful, wonderful marriage. I love them. They're yeah. so cute. We know a lot of love stories. There's always going to be a little sadness, but boy, that love touches us deeply. And I think that's what we're all after, right? How to yes. feel that warmth and that coziness. Mm -hmm. um, 
either by ourselves or with another person or even with your pet. Because yes. I can tell you that in my own neighborhood, we have about five dugs all named <laughs> from the movie. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, like I said before, the, the big, huge, it's a huge box, a heart box. And if you wrap it, I mean, it's going to look like you have that those big chocolate candies in there. But I'd rather have Carl and Nelly than chocolate candy because, I mean, that doesn't go to my hips. <laughs> That's true. So true. Oh, my goodness. So are there more pairings? Uh, they have a new lovey-dovey, um, I call them lovey-dovey, uh, Mickey and Minnie for Valentine's Day. But, uh, you know, you, you you can always go and, you, and, and get um, Lady and Tramp. They have all those, the plush animals and and um, Stitch and um, Angel are a good pair. So whatever, whomever. So you that, can box up your lovey-dovey couple you of You can choice. box your own or get the, get, yeah, I have had so many people come into my house and look at them on the couch and say, oh, I want Carl and Ellie. <laughs> Seriously. That is the truth. Whoever so, inspires you to deeper love, all the better. Yeah. And uh, just have some somebody with uh, that much devotion to the other person is amazing. It's fun. It's really neat. But now let's move on to it's snowing at your place. It's going to be raining here. It's going to be raining like cats and dogs here for a while. And um, we've had really cold weather. I, I, I'm not used to it. I don't like it. But so we're inside and we're watching television. I have several options that are just coming out or have come out and are still available to stream. I want to, I, there's like five or six that I definitely want to recommend. One is called Feud, Capote versus the Swans. That streams on Hulu. It comes out on FX, but streams on Hulu. Uh, uh, Truman Capote, is, it's the story of Truman and his women, group of women, the high society group of women in the 50s and 60s and in New York, the ladies who lunch. And you've got uh, Babe Paley, William Paley's wife, uh, Lee Raswell, Jackie Kennedy's sister, all the high society, well, there's a group of about five high society ladies and their interaction with Truman Capote, how they lay their their secrets on the floor for him. He just, he just wraps them all up. He just is amazing until he betrays them. Okay. So this is an interesting story. <laughs> it really he was, very, is. he was very embedded in that society circle. So yep. for him to then go do a tell all that's, that had to be pretty painful. That was, that was uh, the ultimate betrayal to them. So it's, it's an, an interesting, I can't remember how many episodes, I think there's eight episodes but, and I benched them all in two days. So I was capoted out after a while, <laughs> but it is really interesting. And it is taken from, from a true story. Another true story on Apple TV plus, it is shocking to me. It's called The New Look. And it focuses mainly on Coco Chanel and Christian Dior during the occupation of Paris by the Nazis. Wow. It's uh, how Christian Dior, he worked with the French resistance and did what he could. Obviously, he still had to work and make his designs. But uh, Coco Chanel was a Nazi sympathizer, she, a collaborator, let's put it that She collaborated with the Nazis and she sold out her Jewish business partners. She just, she just was... It's it's hard to say, but she was basically a Nazi in uh, in her deeds and her thinking. So that's very sad. I'm never going to go past the Chanel counter anymore and look at anything. But uh, but Christian Dior at the end, it's it's the combination of the the compilation of Dior and and how he thought and how the fashion industry in Paris thought that to boost up the feeling of the public after the horrible atrocities of the war through fashion, how that would make people feel so much better. Mm -hmm. Who would figure that fashion 
was the way out of the darkness of the war, but apparently it really was. Well, so. you know, in the past research has showed that lipstick sales go up when there's war. Yeah. And, and really it's just people trying to keep themselves one step above the horrors. So yes, they, you do they, what you can. Yeah. You do what you can. I mean, on, on dreary days here, I put on bright yellow and bright orange, bright red or pink or anything, but you've got to boost yourself up. Otherwise you'll sink into the doldrums. And that's what this was about. Uh, it, it, it's very, um, there's a lot of blood and guts in there, but it's it is it's the true horrors of the of the war coming to your TV screen. Is it a movie or a series? It's a series, ten episodes, I believe. Uh, Apple TV Plus. Got it. Another interesting movie. It's a TV movie on C on the CW app. My husband and I watch this together. It's called I Am Burt Reynolds. Oh my gosh, I did not know so much about that man. He was the ultimate actor of his day. Uh, it's just so enlightening and to see what a what a sweet kind heart he he had and how his work ethic was a you know top of the charts plus his his he gave away his money he he just he did not he, he actually became in debt because he he did not you know hang on to things he was he was helpful to his friends he gave things away he was it, it was a really an interesting gentleman and watching that movie really turned the light on for me. Wow. I, you know, I don't know anything about him. So that's sounds... the movie. You'll learn everything about him. It's amazing. And his relationship with Sally Field and his, his, um, his um, marriage to Lonnie Anderson and their, their son, Lonnie and their son um, and several other people are interviewed in this documentary show. It's it's not a it's not a it's not a serialized show. It's a true documentary. Got it. In the, in, in the sense and they do have a lot of interviews with people who knew him and obviously his wife and son. So that's I love, I love biographies. So that that sounds like a real one. That's, it is a winner. Another one about it's called it's on Britbox. <clears throat> You'll just love this. It's called Archie. Guess who it's about? <laughs> Archibald Leach. AKA Cary Grant. Oh, Cary Grant. I it is that. amazing. You get to see, I mean, it's taken from the book written by by his um his former his wife and his daughter is a co-executive producer. Who was married to it's Diane it. Cannon, was Diane it? Cannon. Diane, it was Diane Cannon's book actually was the impetus for this show. It's uh it's really interesting to see um his persona and how he tried in a way to be Cary Grant off screen in real life, but he really was kind of a a bully at times. He he really, you know, kind of turns you off a little bit about him, although I still love to watch his movies. In person, he did some really disreputable things, in my opinion, to Diane. And um, he, he just was, in a way, he was a bully, and he had his own ways of living and his own ideas of what he wanted his life to be, and he made everybody else conform. I, see and I don't think that. I think that's why she couldn't. She couldn't handle it that much. Hmm. Not from this show, but somewhere I read or heard that he had a really hard start in life. Oh, he did. did. Did he? he shows it. This goes from his childhood and his he thought his mother was dead and she had been put in an insane asylum. And then he finally found her and he started a relationship with her again. And it's just it's an amazing, amazing um, series called Archie. OK. And the last one I want to speak about is on Apple TV Plus. Again, it's called Masters of the Air. And this is another World War Two movie and uh, not a uh, series. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, it's about the bombardier pilots uh doing their 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 bombing <laughs> over Germany. It's some of them are successful, some of them don't make it. Some of them are captured, put in prison camps. I was just it's a very interesting. It seems like we're stuck on World War II. Nate. I just <laughs> say, it feels like, and even I mean, even Archie, right, and Bert, uh -huh. the time period that they lived in 
would fit right in there. So I find it very interesting right now that so much of TV land is actually focused on that time period. But I guess when there's war in the world, war becomes a focus, or at least wartime becomes a place to go to, to find it lessons. does. It does. I, I, in a way I, I try to avoid, avoid these because of everything going on in the world. And I don't know what's going to happen. And I try and go for the more humorous, but these, these shows are so interesting that they keep your attention and they just pull you into the stories. Yeah. It sounds yeah, like speaking you of movies. Hated you. Uh, Ileana Douglas, her grandfather was Melvin Douglas, the famous movie actor uh -huh. and Ileana is an actress herself she put together this book Connecticut in the movies and it goes through you would believe the towns that are represented in movies the people from Connecticut uh Catherine Hepburn was was from Connecticut uh we just saw the other day we saw um Holiday Inn during the holidays that takes place in Connecticut and Mr. Blanding spills his dream house they move from New York to Connecticut. So all of the the um, association between Hollywood and the state is represented in this. And she's from there. She she loves her state. And this is an accolade and a true um, tribute to the state of Connecticut in the films. So that that's it's a fun book. It all sounds like great fun. And I think in the winter when we're hunkering down, whether it's rain or snow, Whatever it is that keeps you in or keeps you looking for something that, you know, just gives you an excuse to drink some spiked hot chocolate. <laughs> yes. And, and, and put that put that soft lotion on your skin because your skin is dry in the winter with all the heat and everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this all comes full circle. We watch the show. We... <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. And I want to remind our viewers about the special offer from the Prescott Bath Boutique that if you go to the website or if you see it right here on the screen, the code is GDOC20, and that'll get you 20% off of your first purchase. Francine Brokaw, as always, thank you so much for being here. Now you've given me plenty to keep me in for snow and for Valentine's. I'll probably be snowed in for the next six weeks. <laughs> okay, well, grab yourself Carl and Ellie and cuddle with them, get some hot chocolate and watch some movies and, and you'll have a great Valentine's done. Day. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing with us. We'll see you next time. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Everybody. And we'll be right back.